Okay, so now when it's time to land that big old jet of mine and I've burned off a lot of fuel and I've come to that airport that I want to land at, how do I know how much distance it's going to take, what runway we're going to land on? Well, of course, there's an app for that. Let me show it to you. Okay, the landing app is so cool. I get to pick between a Boeing 777 and a 787. Since I'm in the 777 today, I'm going to select that. I'm going to get rid of that screen. And up here, I've got my aircraft type. So I might have a 777-300. All right, so I can choose the different variants. I already selected that. That's my default aircraft. 777-300ER is what shows up today. I could change that to a 200 if I was in it. What flaps am I gonna use, 25 or 30? Ah, let's change it to 30. Are both thrust reversers working? Yes, they are today. What sort of brakes am I gonna use? Let's do brakes three today, all right? Now I need to look at what my V-speed is gonna be, and I'm just gonna grab a V-speed here. Actually, it's gonna tell me one in a minute. My landing weight, let's say I'm a little bit less than that. I'm going to go all the way down to this drop-down menu, go down to 400,000 pounds and put that in. Up here, my pressure altitude, let's say it's sea level today. Let's say it's 15 degrees. I can change all of that. I can even figure out my crosswind component here. It's going to be a dry day, so it's going to be a braking action of six. And I come down all the way down here, and how much runway am I going to need to land on? 7,101 feet. That's how I figure it out. Now you know, I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. Wait, don't go yet. Do me a favor. Become Captain Steve's new best friend. Hit the like button, uh, share, and subscribe.